Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, I've got you another interesting Power Query challenge. Let's start. All right, recently I was working on a consulting assignment, which is where I had to work with some financial and accounting data in Power BI. And the client actually gave me a couple of trial balances to work with. And this is how the trial balance actually looked like. This is a mock-up of a trial balance, not really a real trial balance, but this is gonna give you a good understanding of the problem. Now, even if you are a non-accounting professional and you don't understand what a trial balance actually is, you would still be able to understand the problem and hopefully be able to work with it and provide a solution. Take a look. In the trial balance, we have the first row that defines what period is the trial balance for. This particular trial balance is for the month ending of uh, Feb 2020. Now, after you have the heading, you have four different columns. We have the GL code. We have the item. Code simply means that what is the unique code of a particular ledger item. This is the name of the ledger, assets, current assets, intangible assets, so on and so forth. And this is the balance for that particular ledger. Now you can see that we have the balance for the current year. The current year balance is for the period of 29th Feb 2020 because that's the period that's mentioned right up on the top. And balance for the last year belongs to 28th of Feb 2019. And I wanted to be able to clean this data, transform this data into a particular fashion before I could actually start working with this data in Power BI. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to do something like this. I'm just going to open up uh, some sample here that I have created. In this sample, I have GL code as the first column. We have the GL item as the second column. And then I have a period column. And then I have the balance column. That means I technically would like to take this last year balances cut them down from here, paste them down underneath. And against all of these balances, I'd like to write the period. That means for the first few balances, I'm going to write the period as 29th of Feb 2020. For the next balances, uh, which are right up right for the last year, I'm going to write uh, 28th Feb 2019. Now, the problem is that you don't have a single trial balance to work with. You have multiple trial balances to work with and you have to clean up all the trial balances in such a way that I just described it to you and combine the data together into a single Excel file. All right, a couple of rules about this particular challenge. I'm going to give you a couple of Excel files. Each and every single Excel file is going to contain one single trial balance. Take a look. I'm going to give you one file for April, one file for the month of Feb, and one file for the month of March. Each of these files that I'm going to give you will contain the same structure of the data. GL code, GL item, the balance for the current year, and balance for the last year. The period can actually be picked up from the first row of the data set right here, or you can also pick up the period from the name of the Excel file itself. Now, you can't really clean the data inside of an Excel file and then load the data into Power Query. You have to load the data as it is without changing the structure of the data, start to transform the data in Power Query and come up with a result that looks something like this. So we have a GL code right here. We have the GL item, the period, and what is the balance for that particular period. All right, that was all about the Power Query challenge. You can download the data set underneath the video description and post the right answers in the comment section along with your M code and the snapshot of the results in the comment section of my blog. And in the next week, I'm going to give a big shout out to everybody who posts the right answer along with I will discuss my own solutions and a couple of interesting solutions that people actually post. That's all about it. If you have any questions, please feel free to put down a comment and I'll be glad to reply. I'll see you in the next week when I discuss these solutions. Thanks. Bye.